大家好 ，Welcome to Learn Mandarin in Five Minutes YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn the differences between 办法 and 方法，拥抱 and 抱，上 and 下 through three Chinese conversations. In the conversation. There will be questions to test your understanding of the Chinese words we are learning in this video. Let's get started. 绘画一，办法 or 方法。几个月没见，你瘦了，没事吧？没事，只是烦小明的事。小明。他不是还在上学吗？对呀、啊，我是在烦他学校成绩的事。成绩很差吗？糟透了，差点就留级。没请补习老师吗？请了，但是都没用。你能帮我想想的方法、必办法吗？请了。但是都没用，你能帮我想想办法吗？没问题，可能只是教学 A 方法 B 办法不对而已。没问题，可能只是教学方法不对而已。你能帮我就再好不过了。办法 versus 方。法、方法 and 办法 are both Chinese words that can be translated as method or way in English. While they are similar in meaning, there are slight differences in their usage. 方法 refers to a general method, approach, or technique used to accomplish. A task or solve a problem. This term can be used in various contexts, including scientific, academic, or technical fields. For example, 研究方法 research methods, 工作方法 work methods, 看问题的方法 methods of approaching problems. 办法 On the other hand, refers to methods for handling tasks or solving problems, often used in everyday situations and conversations. 绘画二，拥抱 or 抱。妈妈，那里有只小狗，我可以过去 A 拥抱 B 抱它吗？妈妈。那里有只小狗，我可以过去抱它吗？你得问问它的主人，要小心哦。叔叔，你好。怎么啦，小朋友？我想和小狗玩，可以吗？行，它叫小王，很乖的。小明。很晚了，我们回家吧。好的。小明给叔叔一个 A 拥抱 ，B 抱后就和妈妈回家了。小明给叔叔一个拥抱后就和妈妈回家了。抱 versus 拥抱。In Mandarin Chinese, both 拥抱 and 抱 Are equivalent to to hug or to embrace in English. However, they have different nuances and usage. 拥抱 is commonly used to describe a warm and intimate embrace between people, such as friends, family members, or romantic partners. This term can only be used on people and not for Things. But on the other hand, 
generally means to hold or to carry in one's arms. It can refer to holding someone or something in one's arms, like holding a baby, carrying a pet, or an object. Hence, this term can be used for people and things. 绘画三上 or 下彼得，你找到工作了吗？找到了。上个星期刚和公司签了劳动合同。恭喜你了，怎么找到的？在大学老师的帮助 A 上 B 下找到的。在大学老师的帮助下找到的。你的工作基本 A 上 B 下是做什么的？你的工作基本上是做什么的？我是负责国际贸易的。那么接下来你会很忙吧？是啊，我们恐怕不能常见面了。上 vs 下 ，The Chinese character 上 has multiple meanings and can be used in various contexts. Number one, when used as a verb, it means to go up to ascend. To rise, for example, 他上楼去睡觉 He went upstairs to sleep. Number two, when using 上 as a preposition, it has the meaning of on, onto, upon. 上 is used to indicate the location or placement of something on or onto something else. For example, 上车 get in the car. Number three, using 上 as a time reference, which means in, on, during. 上 can be used to indicate a specific time period, such as 上个月 last month, or 上午 in the morning. Four, use after a noun indicating within. A certain scope or expect of something. For example, 课堂上报纸上生活上表面上问题上 etc. The Chinese character 下 also has multiple meanings. It can be used in the various contexts, just like 上 It has the meaning of down, beneath, following, next, etc., depending on the context it is being used. There are certain fixed phrases when using 下 that can be translated as belonging to a certain scope, situation, or condition. For example. 领导下，劝说下，正常的情况下，教育下，努力下。希望你们喜欢今天的视频